it's another bitterly cold day but i'm here at into moto in warrington and i've got a bike to try so let's just cut to it show you the walk round, and then we'll go for a ride i don't know why i did that but let's go this is today's offering we've got keyways tx125 I like the look of it. If you've seen one of my recent videos where I've spoke about Boater GB having bikes in a warehouse that have been lost and forgotten pretty much, this is one of those bikes. This was one of the bikes that I said I really wanted to ride and now I'm out on it today, so I'm happy. Now, let me just tell you price-wise for this bike. This has shocked me, to be fair. So. It has got pretty much delivery miles on it. It's got next to nothing. This bike is up for sale for £1,599. To get something that looks as good as this for a little over £1,500. Decent. Let's look around the bike the usual fashion. So there is our close-up. I think it's a really nice looking bike very enduro looking in the style big high mud guard at the front it's definitely the style it's going for i don't even think they make anymore they certainly haven't made them or sold them as new in the uk for about four years thereabouts and this one has just been left in the warehouse so it is a new bike essentially but it's pre-registered it's not going to be sold as a new bike which means somebody gets a monster saving it is a chain drive as you would expect single brake disc on the front nice red caliper on the back quite a basic bike so you would expect not a lot of buttons and that's exactly what you've got you've got horn indicators your high low beam and then you've got your flash or your pass button right hand side again not a lot to speak of you've just got your engine start you've got your hazards and then you've got your cut off switch yeah, quite basic. We've got a basic screen as well. So you've just got your LCD there. You have got a fuel gauge, which is good, considering it is basic. But this is very much like what you'd see on a scooter for me. There is no rev meter. It is in kilometers on the outside, miles per hour on the inside. Remember that when we're on the test ride. Very basic, but that's what you expect for a bike of this price point i think the seat is a one-piece seat it's very very spongy which for me i like it it's comfortable but it is a tall bike and i shall show you now what it looks like with me sat on it i am on the ball to my feet i'm not quite tiptoes i'm a couple of centimeters off getting me heels down on both sides it is a tall bike but I feel comfortable with it. It's quite easy to move back and forth with your feet. It's not too tall that you're really struggling on your toes. So I like that. And it's quite a light bike to maneuver as well. And you'll see if you stay for the test ride. Peg placement is pretty much dead center as well. Makes for a nice position, knee going down slightly. And because the bars are quite close to you, you're not stretching for them, which means you can maintain a nice straight back position as well. So it is a comfortable bike for long journeys because you're going to be sat up. You're not going to be over like that. So it's, it's nice. It's a nice place to put your backside. It's bloody cold today though. If you keep seeing me fidgeting and everything else, it's just cold, bitterly cold let's just get on it we'll go for a ride we'll see what it's like stay with me for that handles are cobbles all right Whee! what would you think of the walk round now this for me is as cheap as it goes isn't it for a 125 it's very comfortable and it goes through the gears really nicely as well absolutely no issues with how it feels performance wise it's a 125 but i would say it's 
it's not particularly quick it's not the quickest 125 i've ever been on if i'm brutally honest but it's all right you know a little bit around town riding like we are currently it's all right and give it a little bit of revs it sounds okay let's see what it's like on this sharp left bend What it is isn't it it's a one two five that is excellent value but you're not going to win any races with it but you know that's not what you buy these bikes for this bike will be perfect for a little commuter around town i would be quite happy with something like this to zip about on especially if i was 17 and first bike I'd be more than happy first bike having something like this. I'm struggling to talk because it's so cold. I like it. I like the look of it. I like the price of it even more. Yeah, it's not the quickest 125, but it is certainly quick enough. Yep, and there's your 30 mile an hour. fresh today very fresh yeah so let's just run down this bike um there's not a great deal to it there's not loads of tech it is very basic but it is very cheap so its price obviously reflects that at less than 1600 pound yeah it is less it's a pound less but for that money I don't think there's a lot to complain about. It is a very, very cheap motorcycle, this. You get what you pay for. So you do get a very basic screen. You do get a bike that, you know, you can see the welds and things like that can be a bit scruffy, but do you know what? If you want something nicer, you pay a lot more money for it, don't you? So if you want something that looks better then pay double pay triple the price then fair enough you then if you've got an issue with a finish on a bike you can complain but i don't think you can complain at this price point it is what it is this bike doesn't have heated grips but oxford heated grips for a bike like this will cost you less than 100 pound and they are just without a shadow of doubt without any question the best accessory you can buy for a bike i think every bike should have them as standard especially if you're riding all year round so if i was buying this bike i would add a hundred pound onto it so i could get some heated grips fitted oh because it's bitterly cold and my fingers are about to fall off so I'm going to head back to Into Moto with this bike. I'll put a link in the description and then if you want it, contact the guys or follow the link and yeah, there's contact numbers. I think there's even like a WhatsApp chat thing that you can get on if you so wish. But I am back here now. It's time to pass the keys back over to the guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one laters